Happy Friday, everybody. Want to sing our Friday song? It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Yeah. All right. Now that that's over, we are talking about life cycles. Do you remember the three animals we've talked about so far? Yeah, ladybug was yesterday. Does the ladybug baby look like the ladybug adult? Nope. No way. That larva does not look like a ladybug. Uh-uh. All right. What other animal? Sea turtle. Absolutely. That was the very first one on Monday. Hmm. Very good memory, you guys. Does the baby sea turtle? look like the adult sea turtle? You betcha, the hatchling looks just like the adult. Just a tiny version of it. What was that other animal? Hmm. Yes, I heard you say it, a frog. Does the baby frog look like the adult? No, who's trying to trick me? Who said yes? Was that you? No, it does not. That tadpole doesn't look like a frog. It looks like a tiny little fish. But who knew? It grows legs, loses its tail, and boom, becomes a frog. So neat. So yesterday with our ladybug, we learned about metamorphosis, right? How it changes. Today, we are gonna learn about an animal and its life cycle with a very big metamorphosis. And don't be confused because you already know a lot about it and you don't even know it. Or maybe you do, you know you're smart. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna show you some pictures and you have to help me figure out what is going on. Okay, so our animal is somewhere in here. Ready? I'll give you a hint. Our baby does not look like it's adult. All right, so let's go through one at a time. Hmm, the cow and the calf. Does the baby look like the adult? It does. We're not learning about a cow. What about this piglet and the pig? Does the baby look like the adult? Yep, just smaller, right? It still has the four legs, little cute snout, ears. All right, what about our kitten and our cat? Right there. Does the baby look like the adult? Yes, it does, just tinier. What about the horse over on this side? There's the colt, which is the baby, and the horse. Whoa, what happened? Does the horse and its baby look the same? It sure does. What about the donkey and the foal? They look the same too. What about the panda? Does the panda baby look like the panda adult? Absolutely, that one looks really, really close. What about down here, the lions? Can you tell that's a lion cub? Yeah, it looks like a lion, right? It looks like a female lion, but you can tell it's a lion. What about the deer and the fawn right there? Do you see it? Does the fawn? Look like the adult? Yes. Wow, we have not found our animal yet. So many of these animals look like the adults. So many of the babies do. Let's keep going. Look at here, the leopard. I don't know why it says panther. Oh, there's different animals. Do they look, does the baby leopard look like an adult leopard? It does, it just looks smaller. All right, what about this monkey down here? Baby monkey is called an infant, just like people. Infant, does the infant monkey look like the adult monkey? It does. Oh, it's not our animal. Oh, it'd be fun to learn about monkeys. They're silly. All right, what about the caterpillar and the butterfly? Does the caterpillar look like the butterfly? No way. Ooh, is that what we're learning about today? Let's check the last one, the duckling and the duck. Does the duckling look like an adult duck? It does, it just looks smaller. 
maybe different color, but it still has the beak and the neck and the body and the little waddly feet. So what is our animal today? Our insect actually, it is, you were right, the butterfly, boom, there it is. Nice job. I tried to trick you, oh, did not work. All right, so now we need to learn about a butterfly. And why was there a caterpillar in that picture? Huh, let's find out. This is our nonfiction text. Look at that, this is 1B, we're on ARC bookshelf. Mm. Oh, look, at there's even a label. Wow, cool nonfiction text features. This butterfly can fly. She can fly far. She is born when it's hot. She is born as a caterpillar? Whoa, so this caterpillar metamorphosizes, changes into this? Whoa, that's pretty cool. She eats and eats and gets big and fat. You know, like the very hungry caterpillar. Uh -huh. She makes a hard shell. After two weeks, she comes out. Now she's a butterfly. Winter will come soon. The winter will be cold. She knows she has to go. She could die in the cold winter. So this is that behavior that we talked about a couple weeks ago. She is, this butterfly is going to migrate because they can't survive in this cold winter. So butterflies migrate. So let's see what happens. She needs to go here. It's warm here. So this is up where we are. It's super snowy. The butterfly has a very, very long trip to take. This caption says monarch butterflies migrate south up to 3,000 miles every year to survive the cold winter up north. Every year they do that. It's a lot of traveling. She isn't the only butterfly. Many butterflies fly with her. When the trip is done, they need to sleep. They will sleep in trees. So another caption, another text feature, so cool. We're not sure how they know, but some monarchs take the same exact route as their ancestors. Some may even return to the same tree. So they don't need GPS, they don't need a map, they just know, they take the exact same route as the butterflies before them, as their ancestors. That's pretty amazing. The more I learn about butterflies, the cooler they are. All right. The trees are full of butterflies. They keep each other warm. See all this orange? Those are all butterflies. Look at that. They sleep for four months. The cold winter is done now. Want to sleep all winter? Be a long nap. She wakes up. She knows it's time to fly again. She flies this way. She doesn't go all the way back. Hmm, why not? She stops to lay her eggs. Oh, she's got a job to do. Look at that tiny egg. So butterflies don't have live young. They don't have babies that are live. They have eggs. Okay, looks sticky. She puts each egg on its own plant. So this egg will get this plant. Another egg will get this plant. Another egg will get this plant. She lays her eggs only on this plant. It's the only plant that's good for her babies. The name of this plant is called milkweed. Babies drink milk. Butterfly babies drink milkweed, <laughs> eat milkweed. Eating milkweed makes the caterpillars poisonous and taste gross to predators. They don't lose this defense when they become butterflies. Okay, this caption is extremely important. So this is the only plant that's good for her babies. So the caterpillars eat it, but guess what? it turns into poison in their body. It makes them poisonous. So if a bird sees a caterpillar and says, hmm, I'm going to eat you, and it tries to eat it, 
it tastes super gross and it's poisonous, so bleh. So that means birds won't eat them anymore. And then when they finally turn into butterflies, the butterflies are poisonous too, it's the same thing. So nobody wants to eat the butterflies because they taste gross and are poisonous. Do you like eating gross things? No, I don't either. Do you like eating poisonous things? Bleh. No, it'd be so bad for you. No, don't do it. Mm -mm. I like to eat healthy stuff. Well, and cookies too. <laughs> all right. When she lays all her eggs, she dies. Oh. So does the mom take care of her babies? No. The mom butterfly is gone. Nope. So the eggs are all by themselves on the milkweed plant. Right? There's no mom there because she's not alive anymore. The little caterpillars come out. They only eat this plant. See the little chew marks? They eat lots and lots of it. So we have an egg, and then the eggs hatch a caterpillar. What's after the caterpillar? Ooh, this little caterpillar eats and eats and eats and eats to become a butterfly like her mom. Oh, but wait. What is that? Ooh, what is that called? It kind of looks like the ladybug pupa. But there's another special name for it. You want to learn it? It's top secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's a chrysalis. Did you hear that? It's a chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? Kind of like the name Chris. A uh, chrysalis, chrysalis. So we have the egg, then we have the caterpillar, then we have the chrysalis, and inside the chrysalis, that's where the caterpillar does its metamorphosis and changes into the butterfly. And then she flies this way. She doesn't go all the way back either. What's going on? She stops to lay her eggs. When she lays all her eggs, she dies. Oh my goodness, I don't think I like this. But it's so nice that they're sharing and giving all these babies. Her babies will do the same thing and their babies will do the same thing. So they stop along lots of different paths to lay eggs on the milkweed, right? They only lay it on the milkweed. And then when they have the eggs, the eggs will hatch caterpillars. The caterpillars will turn into pupa or a chrysalis. And out of the chrysalis comes a beautiful butterfly. Up to five groups of eggs hatch every year. The last group gets all the way back to the start. This butterfly is born when it's hot, just like her great, great grandmother. Beautiful butterflies. All right, she will live for seven or eight months because she has a long way to fly. She does, she has to go all the way back to where it's warm. Adult butterflies that aren't born to fly south only live for about one month. Hmm. So the ones that are only coming back up and stop every little bit are only alive for one month. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, so let's see what other text features. Whoa, look at these tricky words. After, again, every, only, other, because, become, it's by the word be in it, no. Do you know what KN says? It says, hmm, it's a quiet K, nobody hears it. Other, long, own, very. All right, let's see, was there a glossary in here? No glossary, just beautiful photographs and they had headings and they had a label and captions, but they didn't have glossary <laughs> or keywords. I forgot what text feature I was talking about. All right, so butterflies. There is a book that you can listen to on your boom card. And after that, 
it has all these really cool cards about butterflies. What was the story about? The butterfly life cycle. Absolutely. And then you have to put them in order. What was first? Was it the caterpillar? Was it the butterfly? Was it the chrysalis? Or was it the egg? The egg, so you're gonna put them in order. Right, what was second? What came after the eggs? Hmm, the eggs. Yes, the caterpillar. So remember the caterpillar ate and ate and ate and ate. And then it had a hard shell around it and became a chrysalis. All right, it's the name of the pupa stage, chrysalis. And then what happens inside the chrysalis? What does the caterpillar turn into? It does. Butterfly, that's quite a big metamorphosis, isn't it? A big change, right? And now you are gonna get to label as butterfly, egg, chrysalis, and caterpillar. I'll help you with the egg. Here's the egg, where's it gonna go? Is this the egg? Hmm, this one? This one. Oh, this one. All right, so now I want you to play this boom card. You can listen to the story because it's another very cool story. And then you can work on the other life cycles, right? All the other cards. All right, I hope you have a fantastic day doing the rest of your butterfly life cycle work. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and you read. This reading has a cool, it's like a great way to take a vacation without leaving your house, right? Get an art bookshelf and you can learn about anything you want to. It's the coolest thing ever. All right. I hope you have a great day. You are amazing. And I'm glad to know you. I'm glad I get to teach you. I'm so lucky. All right. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Bye.